So, in one of my previous videos, I promised you that I would do a uh, little tutorial on how uh, how I put together this little terracotta pot. It's a 3D image. It is a Snapdragon Snippets image from Silhouette.com. And you get only the pot uh, cut file. And it is the first thing I have to do is take some of the pieces that I've cut. So, on this one, I'm going to, I, this is, I'm using um, textured cardstock. So there is a right side and a wrong side. And so I'm going to fold it on the perforation lines um, according to instructions. So each one of these little pieces for around the edge gets a mountain fold and a valley Both fold and our panels. Um, okay, so I have all of those folded. Now for the, this is for the top rim of the pot and each one of these has to be folded um, like so. You can see how that's folded. Here they're all along the inside edge there is a little flange and that needs to be folded little kind of flangey effect and um, then these little tabs need, need also to be folded in done it once before okay so you can see I folded everything everything is folded basically inward um, so what I have to do is join one of these side pieces to each of the inner tabs so there's an inner tab here then I'm going to join a piece there and then this will come over top and make the side of the pot there we go okay so little glue and always making sure that my texture matches my texture. Um, paper. Go ahead with it. Okay, so you can see how that is attached now. And I'm just going to go all the way around. I'm just going to attach this one that has the bottom panel on it right now. Get that down. And one place and fold the flange up and kind of press it in. Okay. There. there we go. All right. So now the next thing to do, and by that I mean this needs to be adhered like that. So to the inside. There. I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on. This is textured cardstock, so it'll take a little extra glue and another, you know, a second or two longer than plain cardstock would take just to hold properly. Um, I'll just use my fingers. Okay, so each one of these little flanges has to be done. I'll go ahead and take off the extra. Okay, so you can see the beginnings of a pot. So, next I'm to take uh, and put a little bit of glue up. The idea is to glue this down, this little flange at the bottom. So there's a ridge, so I have to get some glue in here. Apply some and then show you. So the glue is in there and then pinch that fold down. So I have all the flanges glued in. You can see that I have the little ledges here on each one. And now I'm going to apply some glue to each one of them. The ledges. And then put the bottom of the pot in place. Tricky, tricky. But with a little bit of nudging, it will, it should go without, and it looks like we have now got 
a bottom in the pod. You can see it's all glued down. So my next step is to um, put these little tabs in the holes. And there, in it goes. Okay. I need to also glue, put this tab in at the same time. Sorry, out of frame. And so you just work your way around putting these little tabs in and gluing them in place. Okay, like that. So now I'm coming to the inside. I've got them in, and you can see the tabs are on the inside now. And so I'll put a little bit of glue um, and I'll glue them up, I think is the best way. Fold that one together. And then I've found that if I fold these whoop, these tabs on the inside, if I pull them down, it pulls this outside piece all the way in against the pot. That seems to really work well. Okay. So now on to the next. This is the liner that I'm going to work on now. That's how it is when it's cut. Way. Sorry. I want the textured side to be facing out, so I'm putting it on the inside um, so that when it's inside the pot, this is the textured side, and this one, the other side will adhere. So I'm just going to um, fold all of the tabs up and, and then glue these two pieces together. Does it really matters which way? A little bit of glue there. And I'm just going to match them up. And hold them. I'm pressing along the inside on the seam to glue it down. I'm just going to take off the excess glue. Okay, so there's the liner. And now what's left to do, it'll probably be a good idea to just put a little bit of glue on the sides of the pot as well. Doesn't need much. So I'm going to tuck that down inside and just center it up properly and push it down. Okay, so we've got the bottom of the pot that's going to go in. And I'm just going to drop it in and then um, coax it into place with this pointy tool. So there we go. I got the bottom of the pot done, inside, outside, it's all lined up. In the bottom, I bunched a circle that will fit, and I'm just going to, um, I want it this way, so I'm going to apply some adhesive just, just around the outside of the circle. Well, I'm going to leave the dot in the middle, that's what I'm trying to say, the hole in the middle. Um, and pop that in there, and... There you go. So I'm actually blocking the hole because I'm going to put some hot glue and some um, some floral foam, but you can still see the hole. It's just blocked in the bottom. Back again. Here's, Here's the little pot I created using that uh, terracotta pot uh, cut file from the silhouette.com website. And this is the uh, example of the terracotta, terracotta pot, not pot of cot. Uh, 